Hi, I'm Kathy Shoemaker. I love to cook, bake, and spend a lot of time in my kitchen. You should have seen the kitchen before you got here. I make all sorts of yummy food, and I want to invite you into my kitchen to enjoy them as well. Sorry, I didn't get the cue. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen, Kathy's Kitchen. Welcome to Kathy's Kitchen. Today I have Larissa Bupp with me, one of my coworkers from Erie. She's gonna be helping me make armadillo eggs. It's a Tex-Mex food and they're called armadillo eggs because they look like eggs once they're done. Um, they're basically a jalapeno popper that's wrapped in sausage. And who doesn't like jalapeno poppers wrapped in sausage? <laughs> so to get started, what we do is we have six jalapeno peppers and they need to be like medium size. You don't want them to be too small, uh, but these are about medium size. And we're gonna take each pepper and cut the top off and then cut them in half. And I know I do it like this. That's probably dangerous. We'll see. And if you're not comfortable doing it that no, way. It. So how long have you worked for Yuri? So I've been with Erie since September. Erie was fantastic through the entire process. It was my first remote interview with you. <laughs> we're gonna take the jalapeno that's cut in half and we're gonna cut it in half again so that we have quarters. So our six peppers are gonna be 24 bite-sized pieces. And it doesn't take that long. And next we are going to make the um, the cheese filling. Oh boy. So this I'm placing right in front of you. Okay. It is four ounces oh, of cream so cheese. You can use the fork to get it out. So if you get a block of cream cheese, this is eight ounces and you just take half of it. And then it's a quarter cup shredded cheddar cheese, yellow or orange or, or white, doesn't matter. And then it is literally a dash of cumin. It's kind of like a taco-y tasting type of thing, but it's just a dash of that. And then it's a tablespoon of cilantro. So Paul Shoemaker, when I made these the other week, it had cilantro in it and you say you hate it, but you ate it. <laughs> One garlic clove and then you just chop it up. So now I'm gonna have Larissa smush that up for me. On my technical term, smushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention your, your apron. Oh yeah, my apron. Sign on it. <laughs> a Christmas gift. See? Yes. We've got her own apron. I'm telling you, my family, now that I'm baking, they're ready for me to and you started bake cupcakes. away. I did, yeah, cupcakes. And then I made um, recently salted caramel cheesecake bites. And they oh, were yeah. too good to make again without having more people to get them to. <laughs> So this is the cream cheese mixture that Larissa mixed up for us, which is terrific. And like I said, it's basically a teaspoon that goes into each one. So we're gonna take a pepper and just grab your fork and dab it in there. If it's a little more, a little less, it's okay. So what makes this different than a, a jalapeno popper is the sausage. So it is two pounds of ground sausage and it needs to be bulk sausage, not in the casing. If you have sausage in the casing, you have to take it out of the casing. Um, I have no interest in ever doing that. 
I've done it. I don't like it. So I buy bulk sausage to avoid all of that. You know, just grab some sausage. And this is the messy part. So if you don't like me eating messy, this is not for you. And I just flatten it out in the palm of my hand and place the pepper cheese side down and then wrap the sausage around it. I have to say, Larissa's doing an awesome job I here. I'm glad. This recipe is from Maggie Trimble Bjornsson from Erie, one of our coworkers, and she submitted recipes and this was one that was chosen to be done on Kathy's Kitchen. Now that the peppers are wrapped in the sausage, we're gonna put it in the oven. It's a 375 that I've had preheating and they'll go in for about 20, 25 minutes until they're fully cooked. So while the armadillo eggs are baking, we're gonna go ahead and make the dipping sauce for it. It is a cup of sour cream, two spring onions, a dash of garlic powder, it's a tablespoon, a tablespoon of cilantro, and then it's gonna be the juice from half of a lime. And then you just stir that around. Voila. <laughs> See, I say that too. I do say voila. <laughs> okay, and after about 25 minutes, they will be done and they look like armadillo eggs and that's why they're called armadillo eggs. Here are our armadillo eggs and dipping sauce and now it's time to eat. They're good. You like that? I do. They're not too spicy? They're not too spicy. If you like to eat, come on over. There's always something yummy in Kathy's kitchen. <laughs>